Once again, it's time to delve deeper into President Moon Jae-in's vision for the next five years. For tonight's installment, we zoom in on the new administration's economic policies. According to our Oh Jung-hee, there's visible difference in the approach compared to its highly criticized predecessor. The first task President Moon ordered upon taking office was forming a committee on job creation. And just two days after his inauguration, the finance ministry officially confirmed that it could execute a supplementary budget to boost growth. On the campaign trail, President Moon called for a new era of economic reform, stressing that his Jnomics will support economic growth with the people at the center. Jnomics is an economic growth plan made up of four stages. Creating jobs will help the middle class and ordinary citizens earn more so that they spend more. And in turn, this creates a virtuous cycle where the overall economy grows. Big corporations and SMEs will have to cooperate with each other and find strategies for the fourth industrial revolution. Despite difficult economic situations in and out of the country, we will be able to see growth if all stages go smoothly. Expansionary physical policies are the key. Under President Moon, the government will double the growth rate of its physical spending to 7 percent starting this year, with further increases to come through 2020. The government will reduce tax benefits for major conglomerates and raise corporate taxes in line with public consensus while proceeding with physical reform. Raising taxes for ordinary citizens will only be a last resort. International organizations like the IMF and the OECD have already noted that Korea has enough room to execute physical policy measures. The move to inject vitality into the overall economy starts from the public sector taking the lead in job creation by creating 810,000 jobs and converting irregular workers to regular status. President Moon is going to focus on making jobs in the public sector first and then he said that the public sector job is going to induce the private sector job how to make more jobs for the young people and also how to narrow the wage gap is the biggest problem and the biggest challenge to the President Moon. The new administration will aim to change the general business environment as well to guarantee the peaceful coexistence of big corporations and small and mid-sized companies. The government will intervene to promote fair deals between big companies and their subcontractors while eliminating many regulations on SMEs and startups. Moon has pledged to ban big corporations from invading the markets of small business and taking away the SME's piece of the pie. Until now, deregulation has really benefited the Chebols, not SMEs or startups. We are going to leave as few regulations as possible for new industries. Overall, it's a big paradigm shift from Korea's conventional growth model. The government's primary focus will be shifted from nurturing the conglomerate's businesses and expanding their influence to directly improving the livelihoods of the general public. This is a big change, so the public will have to wait and see what it brings. The Korean economy has grown using the trickle-down method over the last 30 years. That is, we'd expect the growth of big corporates to share the benefits of their growth with small and mid-sized companies and ordinary citizens. But we've all realized that this model doesn't work for Korea anymore. We should now widen our scope to get economic stimulus from increased household income and consumption. It may be two or three years from now, the end of Moon Jae-in administration, or even during the next president's term for the impact to be seen. So the people shouldn't expect results to show up immediately. And the government should also do its best not to lose consistency in its policies. Oh Jung-hee, Arirang News.